News of Dr. Lamini Zuma entering the fray as far as the ANC's leadership contest is concerned is not necessarily surprising. I saw the Sunday Times reports this weekend confirming murmurs that we have been hearing for months on end. I think for the most part, it just did not seem plausible because she is 73. Not that I'm saying for her age is a factor because we see many of these men attempting to lead when they actually should be at home with their grandchildren. But that argument does hold water. And my position on this is that if she attempts to make a comeback, and if it was legitimate, mind you, I don't believe she'll even get on the ballot this time around. I think it'll take a miracle, and maybe to some in the ANC, it'll take a Jacob Zuma to get her onto the ballot. His popularity, which he enjoyed years and years ago, is not necessarily the same thing. And the idea that that could be used to bolster her chances, again, I say, I don't see it. In fact, it feels like a non-starter. I personally don't think she's got the appetite or the desire to want to be South Africa's first female president anymore. I think that dream, unfortunately, went down the wall in 2017 when she lost out to Cyril Ramaphosa. So the idea of her going back and facing off with a Ramaphosa, possibly a Zuelim Kize, I can't necessarily say I can see. I think what this does, though, is give the ANC PEC, that's the Provincial Executive Committee in KZN, a major headache. I see it now sitting with a quagmire, because if it is true, and I keep going back to if this is happening at the behest of former President Jacob Zuma, I'm willing to argue that this is not about NDZ, as the campaign was called previously, but instead it's actually about Zulim Kize, that he doesn't use the might of the ANC in KZN to leverage for anything. When the PEC was elected in July, it was well said, well communicated by Mkiza's operators and the likes that that PEC, particularly the secretary, Bekim Tolo, is a Mkiza man. Well, I haven't seen a Zodim Kiza footprint anywhere else. Even I can't deny having seen it out in KwaZulu Natal. So I keep thinking, if NDZ is a factor. She's merely a factor to upset the apple cart. There's nothing more to it for me. Again, I can't see her even making it to the ballot. Because you must remember, the ANC in 2022 also found itself in the middle of a generational battle. If you look around you and you look at the party, its regions, its provinces, younger and younger people want to lead. Young people also want access to resources, also want to be power brokers, also want to call the shots. So I can't imagine that this will emerge and they're okay sitting back. I'd even make an argument that people like Gwede Mantashe, even Cyril Ramaphosa, should be slightly concerned. Young people want to have their hands on what happens with the ANC going forward. Some understand that the ANC is likely to be facing coalitions in particular areas and want to be part and parcel of those negotiations. They looked at what happened in 2016, looked at what happened in 2021, where its current leadership was just not willing to budge or deal with particular parties yet they have relationships with those parties so don't discount the impact of the generational battle don't underestimate just how much jacob zuma abhors zuelim kize more so the idea of a zuelim kize rise without his influence you must think a little bit about polokwani i might have been a student or a school at that time but i do know that zuelim kize and he said it himself was somebody who helped Zuma rise. So he was a junior, he was an aide. So the idea of Zuma watching this aide thinking he can do this without him, I don't believe will settle well with the old man. I think the former president remains strategic, even if people have discounted him, even if his popularity is not what people who are in his corner want you to think. While some want to debate the role of the former president in news that NDZ wants to run, what's also interesting to look at really is how the KZN Provincial Executive Committee is responding. From what I've been hearing, the PEC feels like this is a bit to try and twist its arm. And you know what? They said they're not having it. Eyewitness News spoke to the Provincial Secretary this week, who said the person who can force the PEC to do what it doesn't want is yet to be born. That person simply doesn't exist. So for me, that speaks to those who think Zuma remains ever popular and ever influential in day-to-day -day ANC life. And it also tells you what happens when you are away from the trough 
when you are removed from power and resources. It's harder to influence people from outside. It'll be interesting to see how all of this plays out. How Mkize, NDZ, Zuma, this PEC and what it does, who endorses, and what its branches do towards December. But as I like saying, um, Zuma might be down, but he's never out. And what I mean by that is look out for the old man in the road to December. Um, some even want him as a chairperson of the ANC. I think that's a non-starter, though. I think it's a, it's a, it's a no.